सो गाइस वेलकम टू अवर सेशन अवर सेशन इज अबाउट एंगुलर राउटिंग गार्ड्स एंड द सेशन इज प्रेजेंटेड बाय अलका वर्स एंड पार सो बिफोर मूविंग फॉरवर्ड इफ देर इफ देर एनी डाउट रिगार्डिंग अबाउट एंगुलर और अ गार्ड सो प्लीज रेज so is there any question so i think no so i will take it as a no moving forward so first of all uh, moving to the presentation we have to follow our knowledge etiquettes uh, these are punctuality feedback silent mode and avoid disturbance we have to join our knowledge session uh, before a 5 minute threshold of the start the session uh, we have to make a constructive feedback because it is very helpful for the presenter keep the mobile devices in the silent mode and feel free move out to the session in case of any urgent call and please avoid unwanted chit chat during the session so our agenda for the session is about angular routing guard and these are the topics which we are going to look out and the first topic is introduction about angular routing guard the second is uh, the user uses of angular route guard after that we will check out the types of route guards and last we build angular route guards by seeing in the presentation as well as by seeing it over in dab so moving next we move towards our introduction in the angular route guards so angular route guards are the interfaces provided by the angular which implements and provide us the control to the accessibility of a route based condition it means that when a user wants to move to a particular route we have ability to navigate it to away from the route or towards the route these all permissions are situated by the angular guards the angular guard are used here to control whether the route user can navigate to it or move the control away from the current route so angular guards help to secure the route or to perform some action before navigating into a route or leaving the route means uh, basically angular guard route is work as a protector from a unauthorized user because it uh, always remove the user by to navigating to a particular route when the user is unauthorized so moving towards next why we use angular route guards so it is basically used in most of the scenarios like authentication and also we look a common example over here so first of all we uh, working of the angular route guard that is allowing a user to navigate all the parts of the application is not a good idea so we use angular route guards for that angular route guards are provided in several roles like providing uh, providing the restriction user to specific routes until it performs specific actions like login so there is a one common scenario present over there where user guard is authenticated then our app wants to stop, stop an unauthorized user from accessing a protected route the can activate guards comes under the work it invokes the user and tries that the user is not able to navigate to a particular route like dashboard before login once the user login into the uh, once the user is logged into the uh, application it will able to move towards the dashboard so a user will able to move dashboard only if it is login if the user is not login or the user is unauthorized it will not able to move towards the dashboard route or a dashboard component so here the can activate routing guards comes under work so this is a common example for the angular route guard or we can say that for a can activate guard moving towards the next these are some of the uses for the angular route guard and these five are mentioned over here first is to confirm the navigational operation it means that the route guards comes under use when we have to perform navigational operations like we want to make a user to mark it as a specific route and move towards a particular component then the routing guards come under work 
the second is asking whether to save before moving away from a view like a user is on dashboard and inputting some data in an input field and uh, it wants to away from that particular component so here a routing guard named as can deactivate comes under work and it asks for it asks the user to move away from that particular route before saving this type of before saving the data which he was inputted in the input field so there is a another working field where angular routes are comes under work the third option uh, the third uh, uses is allow access to a certain parts of the application to a specific user means that the admin allow to the whole web app but a, a specific user not able to access all the route of a specific web app the fourth is validating the route parameters before navigating to the route uh, the fifth one is the fetching some data before you display the component here uh, the can load can work means that when an api hits or a route hits the user the route is not navigated to a particular component before fetching the overall data of that particular api so these are the cases where angular route guards are work moving towards the next we look the type of the route guards present in our angular these are five and on the right hand side of the slide we can see that the workflow or the steps in which the routing guards can perform so five guards are can activate can deactivate resolve can load can activate child uh, these all five guards are angular in present in angular routing guards and the workflow of that guard is belongs to first the can activate will work second the can load will work the third can activate child will work fourth the can activate will work and last but not least resolve will work so these are the workflow of the routing guards and in the uh, and the next slides or of our presentation we look one by one about these all routing guards so till now is there any question for me i am audible yes parath yeah. so is there any question to some no parath okay so i will take it as a no as you say uh, moving towards the next uh, first of all we look into the can activate routing guard basically it is one of the useful routing guard for an angular web app that is this guard decides if a route will be activated or not for a specific user in a specific web app this guard is useful in any circumstances where user is not authorized and wants to navigate to a target component if we applied can activate routing guard of, for that component the user will not able to hit that route because we perform action and the can activate route will able to perform its action and take the unauthorized user away from the component so it is very helpful the common example is when the user wants to access the dashboard and, but the user is not logged in into the system so it is a good example for can activate routing guard moving towards the next routing guard the routing guard named as can deactivate this guard decides if a user can leave the component or we can say that it wants to navigate away from the current route this route is useful when a user want to hit a new route or moving away from a component without saving or submitting its pending changes this guard always allow a user confirmation means that it always hits a pop up or a alert message to the user before leaving a component please uh, submit the button or like uh, uh, might ask for the discarding the pending changes the common example for de can deactivate is uh, when a user wants to hit a new route without submitting any data in an input field the can activate guards comes under work and it always it always asks the user that discarding the pending changes rather than save them without hitting the new route or to the component so it is an example for can deactivate guard uh moving towards the next guard the next guard name is resolve 
as this guard is very important also uh, it delays the activation to the particular route or a particular component or a page of our angular app without uh, without completing the task of the apis it simply says that this guard delays the activation of the route until some tasks are completed means that when an api uh, workflow comes under while submitting a button the submit uh, the workflow of api once completed after that the new route will hit if there is if they if we apply a resolve active uh, resolve guard over that component so you can say that the guard delays activation of the route until some tasks are completed this guards always prefetch the data from the backend apis before activating the new route or the new component to the web app moving towards the next the guard name is scan load the guard can load prevents the lazy loaded module it is very similar to can activate route guard but it has a major difference also so the major difference is the can activate guard will prevent a particular component or a particular route being accessed by a unauthorized user or a user which is not authorized to all the permissions but the can load guard prevents the overall lazy loaded module from downloading or being loaded into the web app it means that the can load prevents complete lazy loaded module from the unauthorized user to be hit the route if a unauthorized user hits a route and the route will be access to a component which is present in a lazy lazy loaded module he will not able to access that route so it is very easy to add can load can resolve uh, add uh, it is very easy to add can load routing guard or a resolve to our components or a lazy loaded module so uh, this guard will protect the routes within the module also so that's all about this guard and the last guard is but not the least is can activate child this guard determine whether a child route can be activated this guard is very similar with can activate route guard uh we apply this guard to the parent route and it will also apply it for the child the angular invokes guards whenever user tries to navigate towards a child route means when first we hit the parent route and we wants to hit another child route of that component so this this guards will prevent or allow or discard us or a user to navigate to a particular child route of a component this allows us to check some condition and decide whether to proceed with the navigation or cancel it the basic example of that guard is in a component like a dashboard we want to update our profile and over there profile is a child route for that dashboard page so when a user wants to update a profile and the user is not authorized to the dashboard so it will also not able to activate the child route of that component means the not able to activate the child route of the dashboard so these all about the routing guards uh, and we let's move towards uh, let's move forward towards how to build angular route guards so it is very easy to build the guards in our angular but before that if there are any question please ask regard the routing guards part so i will take it as a no so uh, let's move towards the next part how to build route guards in angular app so these are the four steps to build a route guard uh, build the first step uh, first step is build the guards as a service the second step is implement the guard method in the service the third step is register the guard service in the root module the fourth step is update the routes to the guards we check out these steps one by one in the next in the next slides of our presentation so first build the guard as a service so we have to build a we build the guard as a service is a simple way to apply it in our angular service you need to import first the corresponding guard from the angular router library to use it so in the first screenshot 
as you see it is an import condition of can activate route card from the angular router library so we have to import first it and after that we can implement it in the selected guard interface where we want to apply it let in this second screenshot you check out that product guard service implements can activate here it means we can implement implements the can activate guard in the product guard service so this is the way by which we can build the guard as a service then move towards the next step we have to implement it the guard method so we have to up, we uh, uh, in the previous step we have import uh, our can activate guard and uh, implements in our uh, service so we have to apply the method over here so first of all the method name is same as the guard we want to apply so here we want to apply can activate guard so we will name same as can activate for the method and uh, we will create condition over there that it will return true or false on the basis of the implementation we applied so it is basically implement um, as a method for impl for implementing the guard method so moving towards the third step is return value from the guard as in the previous step i mentioned it returning a value on the basis of the condition so how it will return a value or on what condition it will return a value so on the implementation the guard always return a value for the particular component or the lazy loaded module like guard always return true or false if the guard returns true the navigation process will continue or load it the next component which a user want to access if the guard return false it stops the process and stay the user away from the particular route means that it will not hit the route which the user wants to hit and not loaded the component the complete method i can activate can activate child all the routes will returns a true or a false value according to the condition the guard can also return an observable or a promise that eventually also returns in last at a, as true or a false so at last the guard can also tell the router will navigate elsewhere effectively canceling the current navigation if basically in the say simple scenario we can say that if a guard comes under work it will return true or a false if the value returning from the guard is true the user will able to access the particular route or it will able to hit the particular route but if it it return false the user will not able to hit the particular route and exit or away from the component moving towards next our four step register guard as a service in the module so we will apply all the condition like we have import we made the uh, condition for our con uh, condition or a method for our guard can activate guard as i mentioned earlier so guards are nothing but work as a services we register provider array for the angular module as shown in the screenshot below about the guard so we applied our can activate guard in our product guard service so we have to pro provide that service where we have to apply the can activate guard so angular router required that guard to all the other services that guard depends on available during the navigation means it checks for the product guard services that the user have an access right over there or not on the basis of true and false so the router access the guard using the dependency injection moving towards our next steps update the route this is the most important process of implementing the guard like finally we have to add a guard to the route as shown in the screenshot below that we have a path named as product i'm sorry sorry we have a path named as product and the component name as product component over there we can apply a routing guard by the product guard services that is can activate so it will check for that particular component that can activate will work if can activate uh, if can activate 
returns false, the user will not able to access the product component. And if the re can activate return true, the user will able to hit the route and able to access the product component. So when user wants to navigate the product route, the Angular calls can activate method from the product guard services and the can activate route which is present in the product guard services returns true or false as a value and if the value is true the user will able to access the product component if the value is false the user will not able to access the product component and not able to hit the particular route means that the component is not rendered moving towards next these are the screenshot below for activating other for adding other routing guards in a particular component like over second screenshot i have applied all five guards in a path of uh, a path name as product and component is product component so uh, i applied all the five routing guards over there so till now is there any question Hello. Yes, fine. Yes, you are audible. Okay. Uh, anyone has any question regarding the routing part or the guard part? How guard can apply? How component can render on the basis of guard? So, guys, I will take it as a no. And now the Alka will continue the presentation. Thank you. Move over to you, Alka. Okay. Thank you, Paris. My screen is visible to all. Yes, Alka, it is. Yeah, thanks for confirming. Okay, so as the Paris said, like uh, how we can build the Angular route cards, we will see one by one in the demo. Like first, as the Paris said, build the guard as a service. So in the program, uh, if the user create like any guard, so what first you have to do, like uh, they have to import the can activate guard from the Angular router module and after that they have to implement that can activate card this is uh, then they have to create a function of the can activate the return type of this can activate will be type of the observer promise or the boolean as uh, here we said that return type either will be the true or false if uh, it's returned true then the navigation process either if it is uh, it is returning true then the navigation process continue else if it is if it is result false so uh, they don't have the permission and they return back to the uh, zero part that's how they work so what we do like uh, then we provide we uh, access the guard in our provider so in the app module.ts file we mention our guard which we have created here we will provide in the providers array also okay and update the routes like we have to update the routes in the routing file so for the routing file both file we use like app routing module.ts here you can see like we are defining every route like path login path home and with the regarding to that component if the login path is hitting so component we are using for the login component and similarly for the path home the component we will be using like the home component and on the home component we are applying the can activate guard and for that we are using this keyword can activate and the guard which we have created here like this is the can activate uh, implementing this can activate so we are using that uh, here Similarly, for the can deactivate, we are using similar syntax and using the can deactivate card. And for the can activate child, first it moves. Uh, first, first it will look to the if uh, it have any child or not. So uh, he, uh, it will see that there is any children, and it moved to this path and check yes, there is a children. So we will be applying to the can activate child card. So that's how we work. Here we can apply. You can see the syntax of the adding other guards as similar as we have uh, as i have seen to you the can activate guard so the order of the execution of guard will be like first the can activate and the can activate child always check first and the checking starts from the deepest child route like if the uh, any uh, the last child uh, the checking start from the deepest child to the top uh, so the last one will be checked first and after that the top by top after that, the can activate guard is checked next and checking start from top to the deeper child, same like the can activate child. 
Now, after can activate, the can load is invoked and then the resolve. The angular out guard cancels the navigation. If any of the guard returns false, they, all the guard works only if the value is true. Either uh, either it will be the promise or observable. Indirectly, they will, will they will be returning the true in the true or false value. Like here, you can see if the return type of this observable, it is a type of the boolean. Promise is type of the boolean, and boolean is also the boolean true or false value. So first, we will be looking the can activate uh, guard. So here you can see like we are first importing the can activate from the Angular router. We are creating the uh, fun function of the can activate. Here is the return type is true or false. And here we are checking if the uh, item is uh, present in the local storage. Like uh, I will show you the demo also. If there is present in here, so it will it will work. Else it will not work and say that you don't have the permission. You are not allowed to log in this page. And it will be redirecting to the another page. Like here you can see. This is the dashboard and I am applying that can activate child to the hair. If I try to uh, enter into this page, like uh, the alert will be generated and it say you don't have the permission to view this page redirecting to the login page and we will move to the redirecting to the login page like here. We will come because when we see the, uh, when we inspect and see the local storage here, then there is no username. Like we are saving, we are checking the condition local storage yet item like username if it, it is, has the username, so it will be work, else it will not work. So it is following that condition. So that's how the can activate child work. Like if I enter the username and password and submit the this, then it will be the username. Now I can access this page. Okay, so that's how uh, the can activate child work can activate sorry can activate guard work now next is the uh, uh, deactivate deactivate guard is like uh, here you can see similar syntax from the can activate child like first we are importing the can deactivate and creating the class of the deactivate guard implementing by can deactivate here is a one difference like we are applying can and deactivate guard only to the component of the component uh, contact component like here this contact component whenever the user come to the contact component and try to move to the another page like uh, i am here on the com uh, contact page and try to uh, redirect to the customer uh, page so it will always ask me are you sure you want to leave this page so if i provide uh, the response uh, then we i can directly move to that page unless i can't move so as i click on the okay so i will move to the customer page so it will require some data so that's how the deactivate guard works now last is the uh, activate child guard activate child guard like uh, first it invokes the children like uh, it is applied on the customer component so uh, when i move to the customer it checks like it have any child or not here you can see i have the child like add customer so when i click on the add customer it will be uh, i have set the logic like if we have the children rights so it will return true else it, it will return to the login page so i have set it as a no in the user service i have set the rights to that as a false so it have no rights so that's why it is redirecting to the uh, login page it is coming redirecting to the login page that's how the can activate can activate children works so this is the all guard that's how the guards works if anyone have a question you please ask yeah yes welcome yeah yeah this is a shashank here uh, yeah, so if we directly uh, navigate to the child route, that it's the can activate child. So what will happen with the can activate? No, the can activate like uh, I'm applying can activate is different from can activate child. On the can activate, we are checking the permission we have. Yeah. Are you Hello. saying something? No. Yeah, okay. So can I, on the can activate, we are checking the permission if we have to view this page or not. On the can activate child, like it moves to deep down and check on the child if there is any page we can view or not. Uh, we can apply the logic to it also. And then when the user have the permission and they can view this page. This is to uh, two both guards are different from each other. Okay. Yeah, here you can see like we decide we can access to authorized or not or in the can activate child like we child activate child route is activated or not here we see that 
Okay. Any other question? Shishang, am I clear to you or not? Yeah, yeah, it's fine for me. Okay, so in this user service, like uh, here you can see, like uh, we are checking if the username is admin or admin, we are setting this, that's how. And by checking this, if anyone have a syntax doubt or anything, we can ask. Maybe Elka, I think as of now, they do not understand syntax much, right? But at least uh, uh, now, things would be more clear to them whenever they, at least once they get the use case, right? Now they will uh, have that information, like there is something that they can implement with uh, these cards, okay? Rather than writing the logic here and there, right? So this is the, the best way how to centralize that logic, right? Yeah. just to add a reusability or think about the reusability concept just like you mentioned child right exactly. so guys for let's say uh, as of now the customer is having only one child route add customer right maybe there could be different child routes under this customer add customer view customer right modify customer right delete customer okay there could be a number of child route i mean customer slash just like you, if you belong from that API development uh, strategy, right? So then you might have used those URLs like user slash add, right? The rest principle, okay? Okay, there could be view, right? There could be list, right? Get, okay? So just like uh, those uh, URLs, we also maintain the hierarchy in this system as well, right? On UI side. So, so that the partial rendering can uh, can uh, be handled uh, proficiently, like the S, S, the concept of SP, right? The partial view should render. It's not like you always render that tab, which is on customer list, let's say, or the main page of the customer. Inside customer, you can have different sub, sub routes. Just like you use your KKR, right? There is attendance, right? But within attendance, there are certain sub routes, right? my attendance, approvals, blah, blah, things, okay? So so, so the, the use case for child route is where you have some sub routes under that parent route, okay? So that is one strategy to handle with can activate or can deactivate child route, okay? So the permission will be applicable to child route only, not the parent. And when you say can activate, that is applicable to that route only. Just like customer, right? Okay. I hope things uh, are clear now. Or maybe like uh, after this session, if you want to do some hands-on, just do hands-on and come up with your queries, right? In terms of mails or chat, you can directly pin to Alka or anybody from front end studio, right? Okay. Okay, Niraj. Anything else to discuss? Any generic question even, if you have related to these routes or maybe guards. Routing is a very powerful module in Angular, right? If we can, let's say, if you understand the routing uh, in a good way, right? You can mold your solution or you will write a refined code. Just like I mentioned, uh, the main route and the child route, same way you have to manage your HREFs or you can say the URLs, right? So that the content which is rendering on the UI, you need not to get all the content all the time. Only that section, let's say, uh, as we talk about customer, right? So customer may have different tabs, right? So those tabs should be on main page so that you can click anytime, right? But those once you land on the customer page you need not to render every time those tabs because they are fixed now right they are part of customer feature now within those tabs you may have certain different uis okay and what we call as of now child uh, you can say routes or partial view within that view okay so when you navigate here and there right 
that only that section which belong to that tab will render inside that okay not the whole page again right and that is a concept of sp right and that's why we have this framework these these framework are capable to handle this uh, requirement very uh, very well okay. okay guys so if you do not have any question we can stop here but uh, please uh, share the feedback whatever it is positive negative we'll try to improve further okay we'll come up with some more sessions so that you can take benefit of this uh, concept and maybe you can learn in a shorter time right by this we set some uh, some pace and now you have to follow that right do your hands on right and then come up with questions you can ping anybody in this front end studio right thank you so much neeraj and uh, thanks everyone for coming over and uh, let's look forward to um, our non meet for the day which is at, you know we just have one and a half hours left till then have a good and great day ahead thank you and have a good learning day thank Bye -bye. you thank right. you john thanks for us thanks for the session nice session and paris and yeah nice session paris for joining